Hi YouTube! I have no idea what my audio sounds like right now. I just spent the past hour looking for a little little microphone adapter that I have for my camera. The second one I've owned by the way because I lost the first one on the way to PAX East. Ended up buying another one and now it's gone again. I swear I have some form of microphone adapter gremlin ruining me. I'm a little irritable because it's almost midnight. Why do I always film videos at almost midnight or past midnight? I don't know. Central Air essentially only exists for super rich people in Connecticut because all of the houses are so old. At least that's my perception of Central Air. Therefore, there are two air conditioned rooms in my apartment and this is not one of them. And it's really very warm in here. You're going to watch me get progressively sweatier throughout this video probably. So I'm going to try and make it quick. I cut my hair yesterday and then it, it decided to rebel against me today. So like I have bangs. Can you tell? No, because I just did this and hoped people would not pay attention to my hair at all. I'm a mess is what I'm getting at. I'm just a mess. Oh, I got this kalimba. messed up. Talent, right? Oops. Okay. Ignore that. I'm surrounded by distractions. So let's talk, YouTube. Let's talk about something. I shouldn't be irritable when I'm making this video because I'm just going to end up angry at people and then they're going to end up angry back at me. But you know, <laughs> it's too late. It's, I'm already set up. This is what's happening now. I do have something happy. So here, let me bring out my box. <sighs> okay, so I want to talk about Nintendo Directs. I just want to have, I want to talk, I want to have a conversation. But uh, I figured now is a great time for me to open up this box that I received. I actually was waiting for a box from Atlas because I was told I would be receiving a box for the Catherine full body release. And I thought it finally came and then I opened it up and I got a letter. Greetings and thanks again for being a part of our Pokemon Masters partner program. Pokemon Masters is a free to play mobile game, which I play, which I enjoy. I'm a, a Pokemon Masters partner, so go download it. This is my, my PSA to you all. Uh, we've provided you with a box of goodies as a small token of our appreciation. You are welcome to use these however you want, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm using them however I want. I'll open them up on this, this box here. Ah. So I have received a box. Before I open this, let's get to the topic of this video. Although this is very exciting. I wanted to talk real quick about Nintendo Directs. Uh, I've been seeing for the past six months, not even super recently alone, I've been seeing just so many people who are disappointed slash angry at the fact that we haven't had a big Nintendo Direct in uh, recent months. I've seen everything kind of spanning from concern to full out tantrums. I'm not exaggerating, unfortunately. People who are just incredibly upset that we haven't heard news for the rest of the year from Nintendo. And I want to address it, you know, to the best that I can. Obviously, I'm not Nintendo. I don't know anything more than any of you do. But I do want to talk a little bit about my predictions for the next Nintendo Direct and why I really think the concern and the anger is unwarranted at this point. So the last Nintendo Direct that we had was a mini Direct in March. And we actually got a lot of stuff in that. I was actually a little bit surprised that it was labeled a mini Direct. There were uh, some new game announcements. There was a ton of details on Animal Crossing and uh, just a bunch of other stuff. And then we got a Pokemon, two Pokemon Directs technically. And we got another mini Direct just last week, which was based on Nintendo partners. So partner developers and partner publishers. But at that last actual Nintendo Direct that we had in March, we were all under the impression kind of for the most part, we were still getting a Nintendo Direct in June. And that would have most likely been the big Direct. I can only assume that we would have had a pretty big Direct with a lot of big announcements, including probably a lot of the rumored stuff in June. And it's not like those announcements go away. They're still around, like whatever was going to be announced is still in production or is still ready to be announced. It just hasn't been yet. So 
that's part of the reason why I'm not concerned about the fact that we haven't heard anything. So I'll just get out of the way right now. My prediction is that we actually still have a pretty big direct, pretty much right on the horizon. My guess is early August. And predictions for Nintendo Directs and Nintendo News and same with any company or any industry are always in flex. Like you hear one thing and you say, oh, well now at this point it makes sense that there's going to be a Nintendo Direct in July. And then something happens like Paper Mario gets an Announced for being launched in uh, mid-July. So you say, oh, well, I guess they're not going to have a direct before then because if they were, they would have announced Paper Mario in that direct. So now my new prediction is that it's either going to be right before Paper Mario comes out or right after Paper Mario comes out because they haven't given a lot of uh, information on Paper Mario. And then Nintendo drops a bunch of information on Paper Mario and then you say, oh, all right, well, then maybe the next Nintendo direct will be early August, which is where I'm at right now. I'm gonna open my box. Ooh. So a couple claims that I want to uh, combat, maybe, that makes it sound way more angry than I intended to. But one is people saying like, how ludicrous it would be if Nintendo didn't announce anything for the rest of 2020, and that it would just be like a system killer for the Switch and blah, 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 blah. It wouldn't be. <laughs> The Switch is selling fantastically. It's been sold out for months here in America. I 150% think slash know that Nintendo's not going to coast, not going to uh, rest on their laurels for the rest of 2020. They certainly have announcements that haven't been announced yet. Common sense, people, come on. But uh, if it were the case that we had a dry spell for the next six months, we just had Paper Mario. We had a couple other games earlier this year. We had Animal Crossing, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, Clubhouse Games. There are more games coming that are, aren't first party, that are on the ledger for the rest of the year. If, if it came down to that, it wouldn't really be the end of the world. Truthfully, it would be fine for Nintendo. Some big announcements would come shortly thereafter, and everyone would be happy again. <laughs> that being said, I don't know why anybody would look at the fact that we haven't had a Nintendo Direct uh, for the first half of the year, pretty much, nothing huge, and think, that's it, there's nothing coming for the rest of 2020. Nintendo's got nothing, nada. Especially after you just saw what they did with Paper Mario. Paper Mario never showed up in a Direct. They shadow dropped that announcement on Twitter on Facebook, they said, oh yeah, surprise, we have a new Paper Mario game. Here it is. Also, it's coming out in a month. If they can do that, what makes you think that they don't have other secret games, other secret projects that aren't in the works that are going to be announced probably a month before they launch in a Nintendo Direct? I, I, I don't understand the logic. I don't understand the anger or the hostility. I just don't get it. Nintendo has made it a point time and time again, especially in recent years, to wait until games are pretty close to launch, with the exception of a few very big titles that they feel like teasing. And as a fan, I love it because I just really don't like letting that hype die out. I don't like when a game is announced and then shown repeatedly for a period of three, four years until you're completely bored with it and you know what's coming and you're just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Nintendo's trying not to do that and I respect that. Oh, I got a new pop socket. Look at this. I am 100% using this. Focus. Yeah. I've lost my train of thought. Oh, so the gist of it is there's no reason to be concerned over the lack of announcement because lack of announcement does not equal lack of games in production or lack of projects in production. And in fact, there are some pretty big projects that are pretty credibly rumored at this point, considering uh, the Mario 35th anniversary. Give it like a couple weeks to months at least before you freak out. Two hats. This is perfect for me and my bad hair day. Ah, I don't know which one's better. And let's try green. Yeah. Do I look like a trainer? So all of those excuses aside, I don't even think they need to be made because as has been reiterated time and time and time and time and time again, I can't wear this, it's too sweaty. We're in the middle of a pandemic, people. I don't know exactly what uh, difficulties Nintendo's in the process of having during the pandemic, except that I know that they have 
claimed in every direct they've put out that certain announcements could change or have changed due to the pandemic. And I think as fans, not even as, you know, a fangirl or a fanboy, as just fans, we have to respect that. We have to respect that because there's no benefit to being a jerk about it. It's just disrespectful and it comes across as entitled. And I know the people who are complaining don't mean it that way. I know the people who are complaining just want to express how sad they are that they don't have new Nintendo games to talk about. And you know, I feel ya. I would love me a good big Nintendo Direct. I would love to have a nice big E3 show, but it's not happening. So it's time to to rethink your expectations. Uh, Understand that we're living in an unprecedented time right now. We can't even look at past years to make predictions. At the end of the day, it's up to us to just understand, oh, look at this pin. Very nice. I feel really, really, really confident that Nintendo has announcements that are coming in the near future. And if they don't, if these announcements and whatever the projects are, are delayed due to the pandemic, it's okay. We can live. Do you know how many games there are that I haven't beat so far on the Switch? All of them, pretty much. The World Ends With You, Okami HD, Super Mario Party, Octopath Traveler, Professor Layton, Trials of Mana, Hyrule Warriors, Soon Soon Festival, Yonder, The Cloud Catcher Chronicles, Final Fantasy X and X2, Rune Factory 4 Special, Traverse Strikes Again, River City Girl. We're about to hit August 2020, and I can guarantee you that there will be titles within the rest, the last six months, last five months, six months of 2020. If there are not, I will eat my shoe or something, but I'm not too concerned about that. But if there are not, you'll get over it. I'll get over it. We'll all get over it. And we'll all continue playing with our Switch. And hopefully we won't be super pissed at Nintendo because they've already given us a lot. They can only work on so many games at once. There is always going to be a dry spell at some point in the uh, life cycle. Have you seen the Wii U's library? Have you seen those dry spells? This is nothing. (laughs) Those of us who lived through the Wii U, we're good. We're doing well. I have the screen cleaner. I desperately need it. The screen on my phone is just always disgusting. The back is patterned too. Nice. I got one more thing in my box and it's an awesome... (gasps) Look at those. Pokemon Masters League badges, pins, they're like jumbo pins. They need two posts on the back. Wow. So anyway, thank you to DNA for the Pokemon Masters box. Love this. Happy to call myself a Pokemon Masters partner, even though I have been terrible about uploading Pokemon Masters content. If you guys would like to see more Pokemon Masters content, please tell me what I can provide to you. Uh, Knowing that I'm not particularly good at the game, but I'm happy to do streams or something of the sort if it's of interest to people. In the meantime, why don't you tell me what you're thinking about the Nintendo Direct situation? Am I uh, completely losing my mind and getting a little bit frustrated with the comments I've been seeing? Uh, I might just be overly sensitive. My username is Nintendo Fangirl, last I checked. I think that we've just become completely spoiled in past years of getting just a lot of Nintendo Direct announcements, well-placed ones spaced out throughout the year. And we can't expect that to be that way every year, especially not a year like this year, which has just been a disaster as it is. It's close. I'll get better at that and I'll play it again for you someday. Looking forward to reading all of your comments. Angry, happy, agreeing, disagreeing, or otherwise. Hoping to talk to you all soon with more Nintendo Direct news. Actually from Nintendo next time would be nice. You know, could happen. I'll talk to you all soon. I love you.